a Cards with Michael production. All right, what's up, everyone? It's Cards with Michael. Today we're gonna do a Modern Horizons two set booster. Uh, we're also gonna do a collector booster as well. So please let me know what your guesses are for the values. All right, this one's between Paul and Randy. Let's get to it. Modern Horizons two set boosters. Um, I have been told and I have seen personally with my own two hands that the EV on these is not that bad. TCG player has these, I believe, in the 220 range, pushing, and but they've been kind of stable, unlike the, the Collective Booster product, which has, you know, steadily dropped over, over time. Uh, the set boosters have been not bad. Uh, it really helps that, once again, you have fetch lands at rare, and just a whole host of other rares that are also good value. So let's get to it today. Uh, these battles are pretty low key. Um, each person gets 14 packs, and then there's two packs that are left for anti. And uh, we're gonna go by the highest total value, TCG player low, dollar, and greater prices uh, using near mint condition, all right? Here we go. Sometimes near mint condition is actually a little bit lower than lightly played, and that's totally fine. Here we go. Those will be the anti card, anti packs, and then you have three, 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 <laughs> and three. Let's just make sure this is nine. It is not nine. All right, this might be 10 then. Three, three, nope. Just can't count, just can't count. All right, and three, three, and two, two. All right, perfect, let's go. Starting with Paul, pack number one. Monarizes two, Seth was two. Here we go. All right, we got Gris, art card, and Clyde Scorch. Zabaz is our first rare. Vindicate is our second rare. And nothing else in that pack. All right, on to the next. Here we go. We're gonna do what? Two packs at a time? Three packs at a time? All right, let's do two packs at a time. Here we go. We have Resurgent Belief, Diamond, Lion, and nothing much after that. All right, okay, not a great start, that's okay. So tons of packs left, and that's one of the benefits, honestly, of the set boosters, is you can have a lot of dud packs. You just need a couple of hits. It's very different from collector packs. Oh, speaking of hits, Grief, pulled by Rand, and an Ignoble Hierarch. Jeez, and a, oh, also a Bone Miser. I feel like, no, I thought this was worth money, but then I think it's not, actually, uh, after checking. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, another pack for Randy. This is pack number two. Of round one, here we go. Oh, that island is so gorgeous. All right, here we go. We have a, oh gosh, sorry. Urza Saga, jeez, all right, all right. And a foil fodder tosser. All right, Randy, that's a super solid two packs. Valley, I'll put it right there, because that's pretty darn good. Honestly, pretty darn good. Here we go. For Paul, round number two, we have pack number three is a Verdant Command. And that, oh, and a young peasy. That might be a dollar. Who knows? Who knows? All right, all right. Paul, next pack, this round. See it. See it. Here we go. We have Brea's Apprentice. And another card from the list, Blight Sickle. All right. All right. I don't really know if that, that one's worth anything, considering it's just a common. And Braze Apprentice is kind of bulky rare as well. That's okay. That's okay, right? Randy, back to you. How many fetch lands are we gonna get in this box? We've typically had some really good luck with fetch lands. Here we go. Oh, the Glimmer Bear. And we have a Nykthos Paragon. Counterspell, that's like a dollar. As well as nothing else in that pack. Pack number two for this round, let's see it. We got Obsidian Charmaw is our rare. Sithis Harvest's Hand, not a bad rare, not a bad rare. And that is it. All right, back to you, Paul. Oh, we need to get you on the scoreboard. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. We got ourselves Suspend, Fire and Ice, and uh, Foil Nevi's Disc. First time seeing that in Foil and not in Etch Foil. Um, that's all I can say about that one. All right, and let's keep going. Let's keep going. Here we go. Paul, 
We got ourselves a subtlety. There we go. All right, all right. We're, we're in. We're in. We're on the scoreboard. And, and that's it for that pack. All right, back to Randy. Randy, how we doing? How we doing? Got some good hits to start. Still haven't seen a fetch land. And still haven't seen a fetch land. Thermal Taxi. And that's it. Next pack for Randy. Here we go. Let's see it. We got ourselves a progenitor ooze. And okay, got the little card from the list, Jubilant Mascot. Alright, back to Paul. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. You know, people have been saying that you can actually play sealed with set boosters, which is kind of interesting. Because the card from the list could be so wonky. Alright, we got Braids and Rashad and Dockhand. Didn't realize Braids was banned, by the way. That's a that was a news to me. And next pack for Paul. Let's go. Let's see it. Here we are. Ooh, foil. The OG foils are super nice from Odyssey. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Ding, ding, ding. That's a hit. Asmo. That's also kind of a hit. Weirdly, not too big of a hit. It's like a $2 card, I want to say. Maybe less than that now. Randy, back to you. Wow. So far, we're like halfway through. No fetch lands. The art. The art is amazing. Here we are. Fetch land time. Fetch land time. Fetch land time. Academy. Manufactor and a Cabal Covers. Nice. Let's go. And a Warrior's Lesson. That card was so good in Original Theros. All right. All right. You'll love to see it. Cabal Covers. You don't need to hit a fetch to get your money back, but it sure as heck helps. Here we go. We have Fractured Sanity. Nice. And that is it for that pack. All right. Let's go. Paul, what do we got for you? Here we go. We have Search the Premises, Sylvan Anthem, and a Dark Moss Bridge. All right, just two rares, two little bulky rares. Okay, all right, that's fine. Let's keep going. On to the next. Paul, here we go. I'm going to token in the back. And we have here, ooh, there we go. First hit. Okay, we got the Blood Bay Marauder, of course. And the Dothy Voidwalker Retro. Goblin Bombardment, just a little bulk rare. And that is that. Oh boy, okay, all right, Randy. We got six packs left for Randy, four packs left for Paul. No fetch lands to be seen. Oh no, here we go. Chef's Kiss and a Fury, all right. Three of the elemental um, uh, incarnations and also a foil dam. All right, just the the traditional frame, traditional foil. Damn. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Now on to the next pack. All right. Got four left for both battlers and no fetch lands yet. Here we go. Necrogoyf, chance encounter, and a retro foil ornithopter of paradise. Oh, guys. It's, it's getting to that time. All right, Paul. We got a few more packs left for you. Here we are. Yes, there we go. Verdant Catacombs. Let's go. And Counterspell and a Beseech the Queen. I've seen this a million times in the list. All right. All right, Paul. Can we get a back to back? Can we get a back to back? Fetchy, fetchy. Not etchy, etchy. Here we go. Here we go. Blossoming. Healers. Nettlesis, Sea Drake, and a foil gold Meyer Bridge. I think Nettlesis might still be a couple bucks. All right, Randy, you got four packs left. Can we get another fetchy, etchy, misty? Glimpse of Tomorrow, okay. Greed, and a foil knighted mirror. All right, here we go. Randy, this is. So the moment of truth, guys. It's all or nothing at this point. Here we are. Out of time. Enchantress's presence. And we are really seriously running out of time. Okay, here we go. Back to Paul. Two packs left. Both battlers. Every single fetch land. A couple other good hits. You know, all these elemental incarnations and, and Urza's saga. Wall coffers. 
Sanctum Weaver, all right, really good card. Nevi's Disc and a list card, Chat of the Squirrel. Not many good list cards from this one. Not many list cards, good list cards from this box. So far, at least. All right, here we go. Paul, your last pack for the battle. Let's see it. Here we are. And it is a Scalding Tarn! Last pack magic is a thing, as well as, and that's it. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Scalding Tarn in our verdict catacombs. All right, Randy. All right, Randy, I think this is going to be tough. Got two fetches to none. Here we are. Here we are. Dragon's Rage Channel. That's a ding, ding, ding. As well as an Esper Sentinel. All right. Not a bad, not a bad response. Not a bad response at all. Randy, the last pack. Can we get you a third fetch land and truly make this a very close battle? Prismatic ending, that's a couple of bucks, I think. Okay, we got a usury. All right, we're not done yet. Thrasta. And a profane tutor retro foil. All right, not a bad pack. Not a bad pack at all, but did not have a fetch land. So Thrasta and a foil profane tutor retro foil. All right. Let's open the last two prize packs just to see what the total box value was. These two are going to go to whoever had the higher of the TCG low. Not really keeping track. We got our Chitter Spitter, Riptide Laboratory. All right. And last pack has, let's see it. Open this one a It is a Inevitable Betrayal, Territorial Kavu. And just an ornithopter of paradise. So not much in those last two packs. Guys, here's a total for Paul. Here's a total for Randy. Here's the box total, including the two prize packs. Thank you all for watching. Paul, thank you for sponsoring. Randy, thank you for the support. And I'll see you on the